project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash Berlin Explorer. So welcome to this 50 minute of experience. Today I'm uh, with uh, Felipe Pacheco from Colombia and uh, welcome Felipe. Hi, how are you? Good, good, really good. And uh, I hope you are good too. So uh, today we talk about uh, some experience in photography, about you as a person, about the shoot you did or the shoot uh, you will do it in your life or not. Let's see. So uh, before to start to talk properly about you, uh, will be nice if you can introduce a bit about who you are, where you come from, how old are you, blah, 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 you know, something about you. Okay, so I'm from Bogota, Colombia. I'm 22 years old and I do a lot of photography since I'm like 13 years old. My grandfather just uh, gave me his camera and he like teach me everything that he knows and, and all these years I've been practicing a lot and doing a lot of film photography. I think that film photography is the most that I do, and that's it. So short, uh, but uh, to the point. And uh, the camera that your uh, grandfather gave to you was this Canon, uh, Canon at uh, QL25, right? No, my no? grandfather gave me the Minolt uh, 7S. Oh. The Hymatic one is a rangefinder one. Okay, okay. Now, now I understand. So, because I was watching the picture of Lomography and then I was curious to know that. And uh, so, uh, just to go a bit uh, more in the flow together and uh, try to warm up a bit this situation. Um, tell me, uh, how? so you started because your grandfather gave to you the camera, but... Uh, um what uh, uh ride you to continue to shoot picture what you like to shooting picture so how photography what uh, uh make you uh, feeling that uh, you want to continue to doing that you are continuing to doing that mm -hmm. so yeah most of it is like most of the photography that i do is street photography so i like the thing i think that the The thing that made me continue with photography is, first of all, like looking for that exact moment in the real life, like not to use like a studio or something to, to create with, with light. I just go out and look in the real world what I can find and where I can like freeze in, in a moment. Like the search for that exact moment is that the thing that made me like continue with photography and I think that other thing that made me continue is the, um, the laboratory so I do the, de the development and for the roles and everything by myself so I like find right there like a thing that I like and I think that I can do with the with the photography something more more specific I see And uh, during you was explaining that I was continuing to watch your picture to try to find some um, subject or some feeling uh, writing me to the next question. And uh, I would love to know more about um, uh, what kind of feeling you, you feel uh, during uh, shooting photography usually. So if, if uh, photography in a way touched you deeply or uh, uh, in a way you can... Uh, Uh, you are still discovering that. Uh, so when, when you shoot the picture, probably it's more, I think, uh, something impulsive than uh, structured. Uh, but then mm -hmm. when you watch back to this picture, so after you develop that picture, after you printed them, uh, what, uh, mm -hmm. what, is, um, what remind you? Not all, I think, yeah, for sure, the moment you shoot the picture, but also uh, happened something else. 
Yeah, I think that most of it, most of the pictures that I do is just portraits of strangers, portraits of my girlfriend, of my girlfriend, and um, like street photography. So in those three things, I find something that I they want that I want to read that I want to show to the world. But other thing that I like to to film about film photography is that you you just have 36 shoots and that's it before every shoot you have to wait and you have to like yeah wait for the for the exact moment because you only have 36 and that's it that's much most of the special thing about this 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 type of photography so what what i see in the, in your picture more and i like a lot i i think is your dog no right yeah it's it's so so nice and uh, and uh I love uh, the way you portray him, uh, or her. and uh, yeah, it's, I think it's uh, in a way uh, show a lot of your uh, private life, your intimacy, you know. And um, mm -hmm. did you ever think to uh, continue uh, to collect picture in based or doing a project or uh, you know uh, going more? Uh, in a line to create a story about yourself or your girlfriend or your dogs or your life in general or someone else. Okay, she, yeah, I think that creating a story is very, very important for me. Like just going to, I don't know, when I, when I will be like 30 or 40 years old and find out those pictures that I took when I was 20, went like now in my 20s on or the pictures that I have when I was 15 like right now I have prints of those pictures and I think like yeah that's a pretty good reminder that my time in life in that exact moment and, and I can like for that reason that I that I told you like you only have 36 shots I remember every single shot that I, that I took when I see the when I see the print I, I remember that I use like uh, an aperture on a, a diaphragm. I don't know the exact word. Yeah, you know, my first language is not the, the English. But yeah, I remember that, like the settings on the camera that I used. And I, that's very helpful for me to just being prepared for the future in order just to show me, show the world like the things that I do. And it, yeah, it's a very personal way to do it with my dog, for example, or with my girlfriend, like with those portraits. Yeah, I, I see, I see it's totally clear in your picture. I'm curious to know, are you just on a Lomo only on Lomography or uh, are you also yeah, using I, other platform? I also use Instagram, but most of all, I'm, right now I'm using Instagram because I'm, a, I'm finishing my, my studies in design. So right now I have a, a workshop with my girlfriend and we are using Instagram for that, but with, in my personal account, I will be like uploading a lot of, of photography too. So yeah, right now I use most of all for photography, I use Lomography, but uh, I will be using Instagram. And do you think uh, there are, um, uh, did, you, did you connect with uh, some people uh, using these uh, two uh, different platform and uh, what kind of connection uh, did you get? Yeah, in Lomography, I, I've done like a lot of, of connection with, with a lot of people that, that I met and that I'm in contact with about settings of the camera, about roles. I've sent roles to people in the United States, like to do, I shoot a role and then they shoot the role and develop it and see what's happening, like to do double exposure, exposures and on Instagram is most like personal people, like people from, from my college, people from my school and family. Like on Lomography is more like being what I can find and discover in the world because it's like, like I think in Lomography people loves more your work in, in order just to, they wait and they appreciate your work because they know it's film photography and you took a lot of time to 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 do every single picture 
Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get the point. So you usually uh, doing also some swapping with the people of a uh, film. Uh, you took a kind of yeah. a film, they took another film, then you swap the film and then you do it a double exposition of... Uh, Correct. Yeah, and, and uh, what what is the... Um, The result of some of them. Uh, the, did you like it? Uh, did you? Did you? Yeah, I pretty liked it. Let me. I don't know if if I have uploaded some of those photos, but I will look at draw here in the lab and see if I can upload some of those photos. Like you can find something like very interesting because right here in Colombia, I don't know. There's a lot of people um, in the streets. Like all of the time, there's a lot of people on the streets and I sent it to a man that lives in New Haven, Connecticut. And right here, right there, the only way that you have to see people and see good amounts of people is on the malls. So you you have power image because right here I have a lot of people and I photograph places with a lot of people and he like photograph it like the downtown of, the, of your of his town like really empty and that's pretty much beautiful it's, it's a kind of opposite not to what you see yeah. every day Correct. so this is this is also a kind of discovering uh, some other place we can say in a way it's kind also of uh, make a travel no right that's correct Yeah, that's what I like too. When I discover people uh, on internet, I, I really love that part that I can uh, not only discovering uh, uh, a new person, but also new mm -hmm. places, a new point of view, uh, uh, new way to live the life. This is so, I think, so interesting. Uh, and in a way or another, it's also ride you, you know, your dream uh, to, to, to be in that place with uh, probably that person doing that stuff this person doing yeah correct so it was nice and uh, short our conversation because of uh, our 50 minutes of limit but uh, i want to ask you probably a uh, last question and uh, then uh, we can go on and um i'm curious to know uh, if there are some experience you would like to do it in your life in the future Uh, or if you are uh, working on something uh, mm -hmm. you are doing right now. So tell me, tell me about that. I think that if I can choose something, like I want to be a really good designer, a really good product and graphic designer, first of all, and a really good photographer also. But I think that the thing that comes to my mind about all the world of photography is like going to travel the world and try films like try the films that you use in India try the films that they use in, in Russia and yeah try all those roles and see what's happening with them like I think that every single role have something to something special to tell you and I think that right here in my country is very very expensive the film but I do the, I do like, I buy them because I think that is very special for, for the people that, that do this. So I, I would like to go travel and buy those films and photograph those countries with those films. I think that's it. Yeah, I, I think I'm almost, I'm asking uh, almost everyone, the coast, uh, everyone tell me it's, it's quite expensive everywhere. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's really difficult to find. Uh, actually, film are uh, not really expensive, uh, uh, and I think it's also because of uh, of the market of uh, of the digital. But in this last yeah. ten years, you can say people started again to to use uh, film photography, mm -hmm. especially in these last two years. <clears throat> so I, I hope that uh, uh, soon uh, or more yeah uh, we will have uh, a less cost i mean something is more cheaper and uh, in the same mm -hmm. way uh, maintain the quality of uh, a film right. I mean, because yeah well i was like also i remember in the past i was buying uh, for example the kodak color uh, mm -hmm. 200 for uh, probably 1 euro 80 so was kind of two dollar one film and it was really cheaper and was really accessible 
but after the covid uh, i didn't find any more uh, any any film <laughs> was cost yeah, less than five cool. euros like what i do is like buying a, a really uh, big roll like yeah about 100 feet of roll i'm bulking it like, so a, a, a bobina right now yeah 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 i was thinking that i was uh, thinking to doing the same because it's really it's really expensive yeah correct so thank you a lot felipe for uh, your short talk it was nice to meet you and uh, i think we get in touch and uh, for everyone who want to see your picture there is a link in the description and uh, yeah i hope to see soon other picture from yours also this double exhibition uh, you did uh, with swapping will be really okay. nice. and probably yeah we can swap a film to check so no, okay that's thank you for the opportunity yeah it's you're welcome thank you and have a nice day okay thanks for listening to our podcast learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash berlin explorer or visit our instagram and follow berlin explorer project